The crib in Israel where I fell in love with the ocean. I would spend hours as a child playing there, snorkeling, being by the sea. So I remember I did a course at the University of Southampton where I went to school and the professor said far less than 1%, it's actually 0.001% of the ocean has ever been seen, the deep ocean has ever been explored. And doesn't everyone want to be an explorer? So this is a hydrolagus or a chimera. Marine scientist Dr. Diva Eman has been down in a submersible almost 20 times. She's descended to a maximum depth of over two kilometers, where pressure outside the sub is so great it would crush you in a millisecond. But her voyages are spectacular. You start descending, you see the light disappearing, you see colors changing, and before you know it, you're in darkness. Then you hit the twilight zone, and suddenly there are fireworks, like the most incredible firework display you have ever seen out of the window. Animals, all these animals bioluminescing, creating light. And, and then before you know it, because you're so captivated by what is happening outside the window, you are at the bottom. That looks like an Ibniastes to me. An Ibniastes eximia. Ultimately, this is work, right? You have work to do. And it's often only two or three people in the submersible. So all of your colleagues who are on the ship waiting at above have given you a list of things that you need to accomplish. In academic papers on deep sea marine life, Diva has written about worms that live on the bones of dead whales, hydrothermal vents that power life in the deep ocean, and crabs that farm bacteria to feed themselves. It sounds completely ridiculous, or I, like I'm exaggerating, but honestly, nearly every single paper that I've worked on, and there are more than 70 of them, has been linked to an incredibly memorable moment in my career. We down here, y'all. We down here. <laughs> Relatively early in her career, Diva found a niche as a public intellectual, appearing on programs that feature the wonders of the deep ocean and her concern about human impacts. Everything we do has an impact on the planet, and we need to remember that. For too long, I think, scientists have sat in ivory towers, and that is not the way that we're going to create change. I am determined to be different, and that is why I make such a huge effort to translate my, my research and my knowledge and share it with as many people as possible. You do a virtual dance, so you can turn all around and it's like you're underwater without getting wet. Diva is the most <laughs> vivacious, passionate, excitable scientist I have ever met. <gasps> is that Brian? Oh my God, if it is, I'm gonna lose it. Not only as a as her personality, but if she talks to you about the deep sea, after two minutes, you are going to be totally blown away. You're going to be ready to go in that submersible with her. Her passion for deep sea science is matched only by her commitment to marine conservation. In 2017, she co-founded Species, a non-profit committed to the conservation of the marine environment around TNT. Diva's expertise um, is one of the things that we have that most organizations do not have. And it's not just her expertise in marine biology, but Diva's energy as a leader and just her charisma allows us to do a lot more than we would have been able to do without her. Don't get me wrong, I love doing research and I love writing papers, but my ultimate goal is to create positive change. Woo, thousand meters. In 2013, Diva and Professor Judith Gobin were on the exploration vessel Nautilus, observing closely as a remotely operated vehicle revealed the secrets of Caribbean waters. At home. This is the first time Nautilus has visited the Barbados mud volcano. It was the first time in my entire career that we were able to see my deep sea backyard. In the Caribbean, the deep sea is still pretty much unknown and we have been working together to unravel the mysteries of the deep sea Caribbean and we want to share it. And I cannot tell you how special that moment was because deep sea science is so 
resource heavy, that it means that so much of the world, majority of countries around the world are not able to access the deep ocean. We worked between a kilometer and two kilometers depth. We found the most incredible environments, these fields of mussels, as far as the eye could see, that were about a foot long. In here, these mussels are just at the height of health. They're, they're about as happy as they could be, I think. Definitely the most exciting part and the most exciting tool is, of course, submersibles. She is a trailblazer in that she has grabbed all the opportunities that came her way. She has taken the challenges. She has risen to the occasion and she has not looked back. She has practically gone where no Caribbean man or woman has gone before. Now I'm in this place where it's not just about exploring to explore, it's about exploring to understand and preserve, and the ocean has really become a, a family member, something that I want to nurture and protect.